my buddies, it's Carmen, and here I am with an overview of 2018 and um, what my setup is going to be for 2019. So I'm going to go through all these notebooks. This is going to be a long video, and I will post um, I'll post time codes in the description box below. Okay, so here we go. Let's go now. So here's my first notebook of 2018, um, technically. Uh, so this is my Groot notebook. Um, this is my bullet journal for 2018 for most of it, and so I'm just going to go through it. Um, here's my index. Here's my index. I guess I'll just keep it down here. And then here is my future log. As you can see, um, I started in February because that's when I started this. And then, um, and then it ends in December because I assumed um, if I needed more, then I would just do another future log at the bottom, at the end. But I just went to the end of the year. So just a small overview of where I got this. Um, if you don't already know, I've said it in previous uh, bullet journal posts, but basically this is, um, I got this in Disney World. Um, my boyfriend and I went to Disney World a couple years ago and he got this for me while we were there. Um, this is just a flip through, so it's just basically all I have in here is monthlies and weeklies. I didn't do dailies for this notebook, um, for this bullet journal. The paper clip sections here, I did this thing called 52 weeks, and um, I did that. And some of the things are kind of personal, like for example, um, oh gosh, list of things that motivate you. Um, list of people that you want to be like, list of things that make your spirit feel free, um, list of things that make you feel healthy, mind, body, and soul. So yeah, so some of these are a little bit more personal. Those aren't very good examples. But yeah, um, so it's separated in spring, winter, so I started it in, um, January. So right here is the first four weeks of January and here's my February. So basically I was trying to get rid of stickers. Um, I hoard stickers like a crazy person um, so I was just trying to get rid of them. So here is um, my January slash February. Um, the post-its are uh, censoring my accounting <laughs> that I do, did in this notebook. Um, it's where, uh, if it's payday, and if it's, um, this it says WF, that's my, uh, Wells Fargo card. Um, and I was just trying to record all my spending here. But here's my tasks. I did a week in review, um, and then here's my weekly. And you can see, um, in later months, not in, in a while, you can see them. But I tried to get rid of all my stickers. Here are just a few samples. And um, if I didn't use a sticker, I used a washi tape. So here is where I used a washi tape um, where I didn't do anything. So I tried to record everything I did, if I did something exciting or anything at all, really. Um, it was basically, um, I used it more like a recording recording notebook instead of a bullet journal because that's really where my, I am in my life right now I guess. Um, so here's February. Again, I paper clipped because it's um, just not um, useful pages. I just did one week a month basically. So here's my March. Um, for, fe for February, the washi I change washi tapes every month and for February it was this cute um, pink polka dot. And then here is just my, um, you know, cataloging my spending. Um, so that's more May. Um, here is my June. For June I use this, um, you can't really tell it's yellow, but this is a yellow background washi tape. And then it has some characters on it. it kind of says happy day. Let me see if I, yeah, so there's a good example of it right there. Um, so yeah, I, this was a fun, uh, I started using these weekend stickers, it's the weekend that says, there you 
you go. And every month I do movies. I don't. I forgot to say that. Um, but I kind of write down the movies that I watch. I, I that I want to watch. Um, this month I had some Netflix and Prime movies on there too. But um, I kind of stopped doing that in the future. Here is July. July I have this cute pineapple washi tape. It was also from Daiso, and this one was a gift actually from one of my friends. Um, I average about six, 14 to 18 pages per month, depending. Um, it's probably around 16 most months, but it's I lowest has been um, 14 pages and highest has been 18 pages, but it's usually around 16. Um, here is August, um, more cute. Um, these I kind of use to indicate like when festivals are, because this year was all about going to trying to hit most festivals um during like like food art and wine food festivals also in august or i think in yeah in july i started using these colored bars for tasks it was pretty cute um i got this colored bar from michael's and so i thought it was like a cute list organizer um yeah i like it here in September, the washi tape, oh, did I say what the, yeah. I just realized I used the same washi tape for April and August, oops. Doesn't matter. In September, I used this cute um, doily washi tape. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. I thought, um, oh, here's a better view of it. So yeah, um, I thought it was really pretty, and I don't know, I was in like a, dark doily mood I guess um, but yeah I uh, I started putting some stickers extra stickers places here is October it's kind of a spooky month so obviously I'm gonna use a Halloween washi tape and I use this cute kind of creepier looking thin washi I mean font for October I really like it and my last, oh, and then October I got lazy again. Here we go. Um, it's because at the end of September, at the beginning of September, I went on vacation. And all during September I got lazy, and then so October it was supreme laziness. It was also like this first weekend, oops, oh gosh. This first weekend my mom and I went on vacation uh, for a little weekend, so again that was, um, lazy and then at the end of the month I also went on vacation so October was actually like a high vacation month and so and so I got real lazy finally this is November this is the last month I have in this notebook I really like this font that how that came out and the for November I use this um it's kind of like a posy is that what they're called? A pansy, posy, washi tape? Uh, it's for Veterans Day. I thought it was really cute to tie that all in. So I kept November open. I didn't paper clip at all. Basically, it was the last um, month I have in this um, notebook, so I kind of wanted to go through it. Um, it was really fun. Uh, I stopped using this um, Wells Fargo. Um, jotting down <laughs> collection area because uh, I started a finance notebook and that will be later. So yeah, I thought November was really cute. And that's it for November. So I start December now. And here is all the 52 weeks for December because I just kept that in here. And finally, these two pages, this was my pen test page for pens and highlighters, and then these are just extra post-its that I didn't get to use, I'll probably keep in here. So that was my bullet journal for most of 2018. The next one I want to share, this is my work bullet journal. My friend used to work at 
Cotton On, which is an Australian um, clothing brand. And they have a sister store called Typo, which is where you can get a lot of pens and notebooks and stuff. And so this is from Typo. I got this for $5 because um, I bought this in March, actually. And it's for 2018, as you can see. Before it was all foiled and now through use this is what has happened. But um, my friend, um, my coworker and friend, she thought this was from Sephora. That's how gorgeous it is. I just really like it and it's just a weekly notebook. So here we go. Um, Carmen, my name is Carmen, you guys. Um, so all this stuff at the beginning is kind of useless. Um, Here's a calendar, which I don't really use because I have one on my um, work. And I don't really like this um, vertical calendar. Here's a horizontal calendar, which I like much better. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see because they're so light. Um, here's some public holidays. So what's interesting is because this is made in Australia, the Australia one's here, and then New Zealand, and then USA is just right here. So it's like this, a really small section. But I, I thought it was really interesting because, um, especially the Hong Kong area, they have the Chinese Lunar New Year, and second day of Chinese Lunar New Year, and the third day of Chinese Lunar New Year, and um, I'm Chinese. Hello. And so I, I really liked having that available, even though um, I, I just like that they have international holidays. It's really nice. Um, here was the contacts. I didn't really use this, like I said. Um, I This was uh, some contacts I had for work in here that I wanted to keep. And then here are random dates to celebrate. I thought it was really fun. I liked that idea. And then here are traits of the zodiac, which I thought was weird because it's not in order. So if you see it, Aries is here, then it goes reverse Pisces, and then it jumps to like a Cancer, and then so it's like if, as you can see, I tried to put them in order, like, oops, one, two, three, then it goes like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, and then just like I don't know why it jumps around. It's not even in alphabetical order, so I'm not sure. <laughs> why they did it like that, that's weird. And then so finally these are two pages that I didn't use at all. This is random challenges and this is 2018 bucket list. Like I said this is my work notebook so it's not really you know interesting to have that in there for you, for me. So since I bought this in March, January and February are mostly empty. Um, I didn't use this till like yeah so I didn't, I didn't buy it till this week, and then um, I basically started using it for um, due dates, when due dates were due, and to-do lists. Um, I stopped recording kind of like during the summer, so I went on vacation, and then I kind of just stopped using it all summer. Um, I started up again in like... Um, I started up again here in July, late pickups, and then especially in August. So in August, I started writing down my estimates. Um, these are just estimates that I wrote down, and then the estimate number so I can reach back to them. I had my own like code key, which um, I didn't highlight here, but um, I had my own code key, which I didn't highlight here, but yeah, this is basically like what I use to see who replied back, who um, hasn't replied back, who I should check back up on, stuff like that. September, end of September, beginning of October, again, I stopped using it. And then here is when I changed the format. So as you can see, before it was half and half. Havsies. Um, one side I wrote for one thing, like this was just uh, estimates, and then the other side I wanted for notes. But then I added this rubber band. We have a bunch of rubber bands at work. So I just put this on here, like so. That was January. Kind of did that to keep that all together. Because, you know, they have this band here, and I usually did this. But that was kind of inconvenient if I wanted to keep flipping through to the future because that's what, you know, you need at work, um, especially a time-based work like us. So what I did was I 
don't really get look at the past. And then when I went to the next page, I changed everything. You know, I moved everything over. Moving day. I moved everything over, and um, I just put this in here like that. <clears throat> so that's all that was. Here's November. Um, December and the last week. So this section is just posts, passwords and notes and extra post-its and stuff. And then, um, yeah, uh, I really like this notebook. Um, I, I, I kind of at the beginning, wh I wasn't writing, I didn't really know how to use it, but I wanted to bring it just to, I needed a notebook at work basically. Um, uh, and this was a cheap one and I, you know, it was five bucks, who cares? Um, the pens that I mostly used, um, this was like a cute, I don't know what this is, I, I can't remember, but I, it's probably like a pilot pen, and then, but I basically mostly used ballpoint pens, that's all we, that's mo what we mostly have at work, um, but yeah, a lot of ballpoint, a lot of post-its, but yeah, that was my planner for work, so here's my new bullet journal um i just wanted to go i just wanted to show you that i did start up a new bullet journal but i want to go through my work so i this is so this is my new bullet journal um i showed you my personal bullet journal this for 2018 this is my the end of 2018 so again I have my key and um, some just skincare stuff up here here's my index um oh this is an old Muji notebook that they don't make anymore which is a shame frankly because I really like this notebook um it's uh, an A5 and they have it says 96 sheets and for the life of me, I can't find that online. And at the store, I went to back to Muji, and they didn't have it anymore. So it's a shame, but what are you gonna do? So anyway, with these two, I have the post-its up front that I kind of keep um, stocked, but I also have them in the back here, just in case. Oh, in here too. Um, I also did a small pen test. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna use Muji pens because this is a Muji notebook. So that's, yeah, that's, uh, you know, some fountain pen ink. And there's barely any shadowing, as you can see. Um, I, I know this isn't a good angle. There we go. Yeah, so there's barely any shadowing. I really like it so far. I think the pages are really smooth, which I like that as well. So here my index is split into two. I have topics here and then months. And I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, I didn't really think about it. But as you can see, I have my future log, which is like goes like that there. And then here's December. So December is like a little blue dot and then um, future log is black right before it. So as you can see, here's my future log. And again, I did 12 months, just in case I might not use that much. I might not use all of it, but yeah, it's nice to have the whole month here. And then I write down, it's a vertical one instead of the horizontal one I did last time, which I like this better. And oh, and I can't spell. It's log, but I spell it right here, future. And then I have this little tab. Um, a friend of mine got me these tabs, I think it was Joanna, thanks Joanna, and they're all from Daiso, and basically it's like a sticker, and you basically tab it enough, oh I should do it this way, you basically have a little tab out so that you can just flip through it, so this is my December, as with my other monthlies I have the washi tape on the side here, so here, the monthlies normal, I have more movies here, um, my December, I haven't gone back and written down things I did, and I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. Um, that's what I did in my last bullet journal. I usually do that on the last day, or maybe sometimes like the end of the week, then I do it for that previous week. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it for this time, because I do it here. I write a lot here. So this is my first weekly. I played around with a lot of the weekly formats. Um, so here's another one, here's a third one, and, oh, 
one, oh, I skipped one, two, three, and the last one, four. So here I made the mistake of <laughs> doing four across for each week and then doing notes here. I don't need notes. I don't know why I did that. Um, as usual, I have my weekly review and then my um, checklist for the week. And then this is a um, weekly goal slash to-dos. So that's what that is for. And I have this little sticker just for funsies at the bottom. The title of the week I put down here, which I didn't like. But I thought um, this week I did three across and then put Sunday down here and no room for notes because I usually just put notes in each thing because they're big enough. And the main reason I did them um, tall instead of wide is because I show you here. No, I show you here. I have these cute stickers and they're taller and instead of wider and they say like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I just want to use them for um, holidays and stuff. So yeah, that's why I made them tall instead of long, but there's a lot of room for notes, which I like. Um, so as for which layout I liked, I'm probably going to stick with this one. There was enough room for everything and um, the title is kind of like on the second page, um, but it's nice. It looks good. And then um, there's enough room for weekly reviews and then my um, goals and then the, uh, it, everything looks like it's in a place. Let me do that. Everything looks like it's in a place. And whereas this week, I had to cram this up here. I had to smoosh these together. There was enough room for everything, basically, and I didn't like that. But um, this looks like kind of perfect. But, um, you know, it's fun to experiment. And that's why you do that. So let's just skip to my next work notebook. So here is my work notebook for next year. My boss and my coworker went to a small convention in San Jose slash Santa Clara, which I can't remember what it is, uh, but the, they gave them these notebooks away and my boss said he didn't need it, so he gave it to me. Um, so I started moving stuff over already from my old work notebook. This is just everything. I started a key also, and um, here's more moving notes over. Here's my index. Um, and I started a monthly already, and that's all I have in this notebook so far. And then at the end, I have more passwords. Um, I just wanted to, I left this part open just to show you, um, it's like computer, Gmail, Dropbox, Box, and then I have my passwords over here. And then this paperclip section is just more notes I kept, and then under here is more monthlies. So I just printed out all the monthlies that I had and um, I'm just going to paste them in when it's time to do them. There we go. Yeah. So that's all I have so far. I go back to work soon so I'm excited to start using this. So I'm going to go through the other notebooks real quick. This is my, um, it's called a logbook. I called it a logbook. I don't know if I've shared this before, but basically this logs all the stuff that I, it's mostly makeup, but how long it takes for me to finish something. So I started with like, I did like a cold sore early on and I did some gas, but basically the rest of it is um, makeup and skincare and stuff like that and I just thought it would be interesting to write that all down I only have a couple pages but I just thought it would be interesting to see how long everything lasts and how like if I already have concealer why did I buy another concealer I don't know because I wanted to so yeah so it's when I started it how much it was um, and then when I finished it just to see how long everything lasts and I really like this it's just like a good it's its own notebook and I, it's a good logbook. A notebook I started this year is this Rhodia, um, I forget what they're called, notebook. But this is my movies notebook. So I started it because I wanted to record all the movies that I watched. I think it might be too bright. I might write too small for this. 
Ah, there we go. Um, so movies that I watched in 2018, and then I'm gonna go backwards. So this says 2017. So I'm just gonna go backward in time, and um, basically all I have, I'll just show you the first page. This is the first movie that came out this year that I watched, and this is um, what it was called, who starred in it, whether or not I liked it or not, and then um, why, and then when it was released and when I and how I watched it. So. Yeah, I, it's not really wa important when I watched it. For example, like if it if Black Panther was released the 16th and I watched it on the 17th, I didn't write that down. Um, it's just I just thought this was very interesting. Yeah, I only have a couple of pages so far. Um, this little mini stamp. Um, I got as a gift from somebody I think and um, it just indicates which movies are Disney slash Disney properties. So yeah, I only have a couple of pages and I stopped at Teen Titans. I double my stamp if I really really liked it and this one I freaking loved it. I would have tripled that stamp if I thought of it but I didn't. I even forgot to leave room for the second stamp so yeah. That was a fun movie thing. The reason I don't have more movies, it's obviously January now. The reason I don't have more movies um, is because I just forgot to print them out. And I might print them on sticker paper this time because this is on regular paper and then I just glued it in with um, my Tombow glue thing. So yeah, movies. Okay, next is this notebook. Um, this is my accounting slash kakebo notebook. Um, it's from Daiso. It was a gift and it's a graph. It's a graph notebook. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. It's a graph notebook. So um, I'm not going to show you my accounting. You know, that's like my biggest thing. But I just want to show you my layout. Um, I only have like December in here so far, so it's not really thick anyway. But um, uh, here's my January. Um, so basically, you write down your income, you write down your regular expenses. You these are four questions. So your total projected income, your regular expenses. Then you subtract this from that, and you say what's left to spend, and then how much do you want to save out of that. And then your here we have goals. Ah, there we go goals and then how to achieve those goals and then so on this page you have I created this um, this is just my goals and interests so in each account I have a bunch of accounts and then I have the, what the starting amount is the interest I have on that account and then what my goal is for that account by the end of the month and then at the end of the month, I'm going to write down what the actual account was. So I hope in this way, it'll help me achieve my goals of saving up and getting rid of credit card debt. And then here is more um, Kakebo stuff. This is where I will write down all my expenses for the month. And then what you do is, there we go, oops, Kakebo categories. What you do is you highlight, um, so if you have survival, which is grocery, pharmacy, or transport, so you absolutely have to do it. I also include parking in there. Um, and then optional eating out or drinking out, um, I include bars in there. Um, then I have shopping, which is like any extracurricular shopping. I include hobbies in there. And then culture, which is books, movies, music, and shows. I don't include hobbies in culture just because my hobbies are extracurricular and so I include that in optional. And then extra, it's irregular events, gifts, repairs, and furniture. I included um, tickets in there as well. So if you have a parking ticket or a speeding ticket, like I got one, <laughs> um, that's where I would put that in there. And so, yeah. That's where um, that will go, and it will be highlighted. Um, I don't know if you can see that shadowing, but I highlighted all of just zipper already. So yeah, that is my Kakebo notebook. Um, it's pretty good paper for a dollar fifty. So if you want to try this notebook, I'd suggest go checking it out or um, try a bunch of uh, Dyson notebooks. I have really liked them so far. 
Okie dokie, I only have two more notebooks to share, so here we go. Um, I had to change my battery and my memory card, so if the, you know, angle looks different, that's why. Um, this is my travel notebook. Um, I got this again, typo, on sale. Um, my friend again who works there, he gave me a calendar. I don't know if I explained this the first time. But he gave me a calendar and each month is a different thing on sale. I tried to only buy the notebooks on sale because that's all I care about, you know. Um, so I only started this a couple weeks ago. Um, my mom and I exchanged Christmas presents early and she gave me this um, sprocket printer. It's awesome. Um, I'll show you some prints that I printed from it. Um, you just keep in mind, uh, they don't print out exactly what you see on camera, but I really like them. Um, so this is that, 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 and um, this one. So that's all I have so far. I'm going to print more. Um, I just bought a 50 pack, which is what this is, and then I still have 40 here and I have some in here. So yeah, it's just a portable printer. I have always wanted one of these and my mom asked me what she should give me for Christmas and I told her that's what I wanted. So this is what she gave me. So in lieu of that, um, what I wanted to do was start a travel journal. So um, I did. I started in 2018, so these are all my 2018 travels. Um, I haven't started my index yet. We'll get to that. Um, I left a couple pages for it because I didn't know how much I would put in here. But yeah, so here is my first spread. Um, Taylor and I went skiing. It was our first ski trip. Um, some details, some memories. Um, I really like this post-it, but I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. Because for next one, I went to Portland for my birthday. Um, and so I just, I like stickers. I'm a huge sticker fan. These are print cutouts from magazines. I have a bunch of those and I just thought incorporating that would be great. Um, here is, I like postcards too. I just glued that in here and then um, put some more writing in here. Here's a ticket that we went to. We went to the um, Japanese uh, garden in Portland. Here's a map that I got. Another sticker, more writing. Um, yeah, I really like it so far. I like writing down all my thoughts and then um, taping in the postcards. I don't like writing on the actual things, even though, you know, gluing it in here and taping it in here, it's already ruining it. But I just thought, like, having this postcard like that, just really cute. Um, I don't know. And you still get to see Stump Town and then all that. Um, and then for this postcard, um, writing it, I'm gluing this, you know, dot grid on the back, I thought was cute. I don't have anything here. I miss, uh, miss, look, overlook that. And then, um, here's my last day and then just like my final thoughts. I have a huge blank. I didn't really think about that. Um, so I'll have to look into that in the future. And then I'm going to start doing more. So it's just like what I can accumulate, um, I guess, and what I want to talk about. So, you know, um, ah, so here we were only here for a couple days and this is all I had to say. We didn't really, we did a lot, but I didn't have a lot to say, I guess. But here um, was really special. It was my 30th. Um, birthdays, so my friends and I went out. We did a, a super ton of things, and um, we saw a lot, and I really appreciate everyone coming out and coming with me. So I tried to put in as much as I could, and I like taping these in here and putting the stickers in, and I just really like it, and I've always wanted to start a travel journal, so yeah, here it is. Anyway, blah, 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 here's my travel journal. Um... I haven't used the paper yet, um, and so I wanted to do a pen test on camera, so I guess we'll do that. Um, I'm not hopeful that it's going to be great. It's really, really thin, um, but yeah, let's just do this as a um, Uni Jetstream. It's my favorite pen. <laughs> um... 
It's my favorite ballpoint pen, and this is a .38, super tiny. Let's use a felt tip. This is a Stabio sensor. Um, it is in .3, it's a fine liner. Let's use a highlighter. Whoa, totally blown out. There you go. Big highlighter. And let's do a brush pen. I guess this is a brush pen. This is a zebra brush pen. It has a hard tip though. And then I have an ink up fountain pen here somewhere. This is my um, Lamy pen. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting what kind of Lamy it is. But yeah, it's gunmetal. Um, I have a, um, oops, I have, ah, I have JB, J. Urban. Um, Rouge Opera in here, and I just inked it yesterday. Um, so let's write that. Love that pen. And so that's what that looks like. No bleeding? Even in the fountain pen ink, there's no bleeding. Um, let's see. There we go. Nope. Ah, there we go. And then. Oh, not too bad. So it looks like this did bleed a little bit and the highlighter did bleed, but um, you can't see the, 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 uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the shadowing on, you can't see the shadowing on the ballpoint pen or the fountain pen, so that's pretty nice. Oh, I don't know why. There you go. That's pretty nice. Okay. So that's that. I really like this notebook. My goal is to not use any of the original paper and write um, on different papers and just to have a more, have it to be a more multimedia notebook. So I really like it so far and this is a perfect, you know, travel journal. This is a Quo Vadis, Quo Vadis Notor notebook. This is going to be my journal for 2019. Um, this is specifically for 2019. It's my diary. Um, so it has uh, notes, a calendar, and then it starts on today. And I, the reason I did this is because I keep seeing a lot of people do the, um, um, I forget, Hobonichi. So this kind of looks like a Hobonichi. And I, I've never done each day as a separate, you know, like, recording thing before. So I'm going to try it. If I like it, I might just buy another one of these. This is refillable, and then, um, and it's pretty nice paper. Um, I don't want to do a pen test on camera right now just because, um, I wanted, I was going to do a pen test, but I think the other pen test, I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty nice paper. It feels really smooth. Anyway, anyway, that's great. And finally, the notebook that I've been using in 2018, and I will use in 2019, is this is used to be a bullet journal. I hated it as a bullet journal, so I'm using it for um, editing notes and blog stuff and ideas. So this is all the notes that I had for this. Um, this is all the notes. These are all the notes I had for this video. It's super long. Um, and then I was going to do a plan with me, but I will have to do that later. Hello, my buddies. It's Carmen. Um, I know you're watching my video about my 2018 um, uh, planners, and now it's my 2019, and you just finished watching 
um, me talk about my bullet journals. But this is my <laughs> boss just gave me this today, and I couldn't. And I since I haven't uploaded my other one, I figured I'll just add this attach this on but I don't have time to film so I'm just gonna I'm holding my camera which is why it's a little shaky but I just wanted to show you this adorable planner she got me she said her best friend made this and um, she um, sh we're out near San Francisco and this was actually made in San Francisco there we go wisdom made in San Francisco and um, it is a gorgeous gorgeous planner. Oops. There we go. It's a gorgeous planner and it's a weekly. Um, let me show you. Here's the monthly. I mean the year. Um, oh, there we go. Here's my key. I adjusted it a little bit. So this is my work planner. So here's my old one here. And um, I have been using it. See, it today is the 16th. Um, I have been using it. It's, yeah, today is the 16th. So see, I have been using it a lot. And it's been pretty good to me these past couple weeks. But um, she just gave this to me today, and I've already started using it. So I'm not going to show you that page because I haven't covered it up. But basically, this is what the weekly looks like. It's gorgeous. Let me zoom in here. It is so gorgeous. It's like beautiful. I don't know why it keeps trying to focus. Um, this, and then this page is just lined for notes. And then what's even cooler is it will give you at the bottom here holidays. So this week is next week. And at the top there you can see it's in red while all the other days are in black. And it just says Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which we actually don't get off, so, um, I mean, I don't get it off, but other people do. And then it came with this adorable bookmark. It's hilarious. Well, I like it. You can go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. And it says, widely misattributed quote. I like that. It's great. So what I did today was I just filled in... Um, everything from the past two weeks that weren't done yet, so I didn't put the done stuff, but these are the undone stuff, the stuff that's still impending. And then I filled in my week from earlier. I know it's not focusing, but that's not important. And I even wrote down, got this planner today. So what's cool is, you can see my little food smudge already. Ah! Okay, you can see my little food smudge already, but it's cut into three, which is really cool if you wanted to do a... Okay, hold on. Okay, so I had to hold it down, but it's split into three columns. Let me open it to an empty page. So it's really hard to focus here, so hopefully you can see it, but it's split into three columns and then which I think is cool because then you can do morning afternoon and evening if you weren't using this for a you know work um, bullet journal or planner but what I'm doing um, I'll show you real quick what I'm doing is I put all the estimates over here and then over here I just put like what I did um, so here is my key and yeah, I've only been using this for a day, and I love it. And um, here's all the details. So it's made from, it's all recyclable, so they just made this a non-waste product, which I think is amazing. And yeah, it's beautiful paper. Um, I think it's about 28 pound, or maybe even 24, which is about 60 or 70 pound paper. It's really nice. Um, look at my shadowing over here. It's not that bad. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I love my new planner. I just wanted to share that with you. And now I'll go back to my previous video and zoom. Anyway, I am done now. Please let me know what you thought of all my notebooks. Um, 
Let me know what you liked layout wise. I really like um, my travel journal and my um, accounting journal as well as my um, new bullet journal. I'm excited to use my work journal and um, I'm exci super excited to use my new um, diary. diary. Anyway, uh, let me know which notebook is your favorite. How many notebooks are you guys using right now? Um, are you a notebook addict like I am? Um, thanks for watching and um, bye everyone!